What's up, guys? Um, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, I have a uh, 8015 here. This is the black version. Um, an S35VN, and it looks like it's the new, made with the new company. Um, I've had two other 8015s before. They were both the green ones. Um, and I don't know, I just shouldn't have sold them, I guess. But uh, as you know, and then uh, this, there was an Amazon, during the Amazon day, this, this thing was on really good sale. So that's why I decided to pick it back up. But if you see my other 8015 videos, you know that there's some things that you got to fix about this knife. The thumb studs, there's these sharp corners here. The spring is pretty tight. And the scales will eat your pockets. It's a bad pocket clip. So I've gotten a lot of stuff that I'm going to be um, fixing it with. Now last time I dyed the scales and kept the same scales. And I might have sanded the down where the pocket clip goes. But I'm not going to do that this time because I found um, there's a guy on Instagram. Uh, his, his name's Ashton. I forgot his what it, his uh, the name of this thing is something about slash, but these are smooth carbon fiber scales. So not only is gonna look, it's gonna match the black with that black, but they're gonna be smooth. So the pocket clip is gonna be not gonna be eating up your pockets. And then speaking of pocket clips, there's a guy that makes titanium pocket clips, deep carry pocket clips for all sorts of knives. So that's gonna go on. And then for the thumb stud, instead of trying to sand it like I did the last time, I'm gonna see if these tie connector ones are gonna fit on here. So, got a lot of stuff to, to do, and then I'm gonna knock down the, the edges there on my belt sander so they'll be smooth. So, um, yeah, got a lot of stuff to do to it, so let's get cracking. All right, so the first thing I want to do is um, take the thumb studs off. Okay, let's see if this works. Yep, it's working. So, I want to take these off because I want to see how big of a hole. Um, another thing I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool to have a spidey hole there? Um, Set of thumb studs. Can almost make it work. If you get one of those Dremels that with the carbide bits, you can probably make that into a spidey hole. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go with my original plan and see how these thumb studs will look on here. So these thumb studs, I just want to see if they're going to be, yeah, that's how they would look. So I just want to make sure they weren't too small looking, but I think they'll be okay. That's how they'll look. So the first thing I have to do with these thumb studs is cut a, cut to length one of these rods here. Well, let me make sure this doesn't already see these these things screw into here. And it is a pain in the butt cutting them. And then when you cut them um, oh that is awesome. I don't think I'm gonna have to cut it. Well yeah I probably will. But yeah when you cut it then it, the threads get all messed up. You have to kind of like sand it down until it. Wow, I don't. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna have to trim it ever so slightly because of the thick stock. It does let you get a lot in there. But yeah, this is what all. Man, even just like that, it feels so much better. Oh man, I feel so much better. I probably won't even trim the spring on this now. Um, these are just like. This, the angle of them is just terrible. So, alright. So what I'm going to do is... Let's see what side comes off here. 
All right. I'm gonna take this and trim it down ever so slightly, and then I will be back to put it on the knife. But be actually, before I do, I'll leave it off so I can knock off these. So let me. Um, These things to take off. I took one of these apart. It was pretty easy. Okay, there we go. So one scale down. Okay. All right. There's that. And there you see the order of the 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 um what you call it. The Teflon touches the blade. The brass touches touches the scale. So keep that in mind when you guys are taking these apart. Um, there we go. And then the spring's got to come out sometime. Okay, there. Phew, I thought it shot across the room. Alright, so it's all taken apart now. Um... There we go, there's that pivot, there's this pivot, okay, the scales are off, the scales are off now, so let me go take the blade, I'll knock down these edges, and then I'll also get this cut to length, and we'll come back and assemble everything back together. Alright guys, so I got the uh, thumb stud on. And you can see I knocked down the sharp edges right there. So with the dumb stud, I don't think there's going to be a need for me to trim this the, uh, the spring like I have in the past. So I'm just going to put it back together with the new scales and new pocket clip. And we'll see how it looks. All right, let's see. Oh, they are D-shaped. I forgot about that. All right. Got it in. Okay, got it in there. Hmm. Okay. 
All right, guys, I finally got it back together. Um, yeah, these these D-shaped uh, pivots were giving me a real problem, but that's how it is right now. Um, like I said, I smoothed up this thing, added the thumb studs, scales, titanium, or deep carry pocket clip, so. It is good to go on my end. Yeah, thumb studs feel very good. Jimping's good. Pocket clip doesn't get in the way. So, pretty happy with it now. Alright, I'll see you guys on the next one.